Are you tired of dealing with unpredictable breakouts, dull, dry, tired, or irritated skin? Hi, I'm Dr. Angeline Yong, and welcome back to my channel. In this ensuing video, let us talk about how you can synchronize your skincare to optimize your skin's potential throughout the entire month. Let's look at how your menstrual cycle can directly impact on your skin health throughout the month. Now, first, you must understand that there are four phases in your menstrual cycle. Firstly, the menstruation phase. Secondly, the follicular phase. Thirdly, the mid-cycle or the ovulation phase. And lastly, the luteal phase. So your skin health fluctuates throughout all these phases of the month, namely in terms of hydration, sensitivity and oil production. So as your hormone levels fluctuate through your period cycle, there are skin changes such as increased sebum production or increased skin sensitivity. And understanding this will help you fit in the right products at different times of the month to best optimize the skincare needs. For example, if the skin is oilier or more prone to congestion in the week before your period cycle, it is good to incorporate exfoliants such as AHAs and BHAs to reduce the congestion. In times of the month like during your menstrual cycle where the skin might be more hypersensitive, it will be better to cut exfoliants and increase the use of more hydrating products to soothe the skin down. We will go into more detail in the next part of the video. Now, there are four parts of the period cycle. The first part is known as the menstruation phase, typically from day one to day five or six of your monthly cycle. During this time, estrogen and progesterone levels are at an all-time low, making your skin really dull, dry and tired. At the same time, prostaglandin levels are also high, making your skin very sensitive. As a result, it's good to cut the harsh exfoliating products such as AHAs and BHAs during this period of time and focus on soothing ingredients like niacinamide and hydrating masks or even soothing hydration creams. Now, the second part of your hormone cycle will be known as the follicular phase. This is typically the phase that follows your menstrual cycle. So it can start from about day 6, day 7 on to about day 12 to day 14. This is the time of the month where skin is at its best because estrogen levels start to rise during this phase of your hormone cycle, giving rise to increased collagen production. Skin is as a result more plump, more supple. There is also increased hydration as well, so skin has an extra moisture and glow. This is also the time of the month where you can try new treatments or maybe new products because the skin is the most robust and least sensitive during this period of time. So in the third part of the period cycle or hormone cycle, this is known as the mid-cycle ovulatory phase. This typically happens from day 12 to day 14 on to day 16 to day 17 of your monthly cycle. It is during this time that hormone levels fluctuate tremendously as well. And now there's a surge in LH and FSH giving rise to an increase in estrogen and then also accompanied with a small spike in testosterone production. It is this precise increase in testosterone production that may lead some women to experience hormonal acne mid-cycle. As we lead up to the luteal phase where oil production continues to increase, it is helpful to start incorporating more AHAs and BHAs more routinely throughout the week in order to prepare for this upcoming sebum production as well as reduce congestion. Finally, in the fourth part of your monthly cycle, we have what is known as the luteal phase. So this typically commences right after the ovulation phase from maybe day 16 to day 17 of your monthly cycle on to day 28 to day 30, which is the end of your monthly cycle just before your first day of your menstrual period. Now, typically during this time, progesterone is the dominant hormone, especially in the first half of the luteal phase, progesterone levels will rise. This gives rise to increased skin swelling, and this swelling can give rise to blockage of oil glands because of semen production as well. This blockage will give rise to acne formation. Now, as you note, towards the end, just before the start of the next menstrual cycle, the end of the luteal phase is also accompanied by a drop in basically progesterone and estrogen levels. And at this point of time, testosterone levels becomes the dominant hormone in the skin. This then means that there's increased oil production or increased sebum formation underneath a clogged or congested pore. And this then means that acne formation is much more likely to happen, especially if your skin hasn't been pre-cleansed or hasn't been exfoliated well enough beforehand. So what a lot of women notice, especially if they have hormonal acne, is that it typically break up just a few days before their next period cycle. Now, how do we then manage this part of the month as best or as optimally as possible? The key trick here is to eliminate excess sebum production and exfoliate or reduce clogging of the skin without causing too much skin sensitivity or irritation. It's helpful, as I mentioned, 
during the time of the mid-cycle to start already increasing the amount of AHA or BHA used throughout the week. So this helps to exfoliate and keep the skin cells clear or the opening of the ducts. Secondly, use soothing agents like niacinamide, which are not only calming but can reduce oil production, sebum production as well. Finally, it's important to maybe also time facials just around this time of the month because it's helpful to also clear out your skin and clear out any congestion or comedos where possible so that there will be less inflammatory acne that results from inflammation in the clogged pores. Lastly, avoid any cosmetic treatments that might irritate the skin. So for example, if I were to time my laser sessions, I would like to time it maybe at the second phase of the month during my follicular phase where skin is at the most robust and is the clearest rather than just the week before my period cycle because these treatments may then aggravate or cause more inflammation. But understanding your skin needs throughout the month, you are best able to tailor your skincare routine to best suit different phases of the month where your skin requires different skin foods or different support to make sure that it's at its optimal best and its natural beauty. If you like the content in the video above, don't forget to click the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel.